Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Boss Wave and welcome back to our second to final episode of the Claptastic Voyage DLC Weapon Guides. And today I am pretty excited because I'm going to be bringing you guys actually two weapons in one video again. Uh, it's going to be two uh, unique items. One is a shield and the other one is a laser. Uh, they actually both come from the same mission called the Temple of Boom. So uh, you've probably heard me talk about this mission before. It, uh, cut, it is a side mission in the Claptastic Voyage DLC that is kind of an Indiana Jones easter egg. Um, and inside you have to fight the Sponks where he drops a legendary sniper rifle. So it's kind of like getting three weapons in one here. But uh, I... Yeah, I've made a video about this mission before. Anyway, um, the first uh, item I said before is going to be a shield called the Shield of Ages, which is a Hyperion unique shield with a capacity of 193,242, a recharge rate of 11,273, a recharge delay of 6.58 seconds, a max health of uh, minus 24,155, and the red flavor text there says a shield for the ages, which stands for above average shield capacity. So what this basically does is it deducts your health, but uh, also increases your recharge uh, capacity. So um, you have a higher shield compared to uh, other Hyperion shields. So yeah, but uh, it reduces your max health. That's pretty much the only thing about this shield. It's not a very awesome shield. It's just, you know, a unique shield that I guess they decided to throw in the game for whatever reason. But uh, anyway, the other weapon we're going to be going over is called the Tannis Laser of Enlightenment. Enlightenment. Um, now this is a weapon that you get from Tannis. So basically, uh, when you pick up this quest, you're going to either turn it into either Tannis or... Uh, who's the other guy? I can't even remember his name. Um, Gladstone. You have to turn it into Gladstone. Uh, to get the Shield of Ages. So you just have to make that decision there, whichever one you think is better. Um, I could personally say right now, neither of them are really that great or, you know, one's better than the other. But uh, the damage on the Tannis of Laser of Enlightenment is uh, 5,804, an accuracy of 78.7, fire rate of 10.2, reload speed of 1.6, magazine size of 105, burn damage per second is 8,523.3, and the Ignite Chance is 59.3%, and then the Red Flare Text says... Burn away the impurities of ignorance. And what that stands for here is that uh, always fire element fires a cone of flames in front of a, the barrel and increased damage and high ignite chance. So, um, yeah. It also has a 158% continuous damage bonus, which, uh, you know, is pretty okay for a laser. But uh, really, um, like I said, none of these weapons are good or bad. It's just kind of iffy there. It all depends on... Um, you know, what you like to do with them, but, uh, you know, they're good to collect, and really, I can't really think of anything else about to say about these weapons. They're not, you know, good for any specific build. They're just, you know, there in the game for you to mess around with. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more Borderlands content, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.